so season 18 is finally here guys and we are going to go over the best settings now today's video guys we are going to be going over everything just to start the season off i wanted to kind of break down the things that matter the most so we're going to start with uh crosshair damage feedback now if i miss a setting and you guys want me to go over it i can make another video or i can just answer in the comments or just leave a comment down below but um crosshair damage feedback so this is off x and show x for show icon usually people run x for show icon um i like running off sometimes i like to run off because sometimes i just don't like seeing the x you know what i mean like i like just shooting like that i don't like seeing the hit marker that's the hit marker i don't you know sometimes i don't care to look for that so that's that next we have uh damage numbers i have these on stacking you can do whatever you want i think stacking is the best ping opacity you want this on faded um auto sprint you want this on on uh just because you don't want to click in the left stick every time you want to run you want to just be able to auto run um that's you know beneficial in my opinion double tap sprint i have this on off jetpack control you want this on hold you don't want this on toggle for my valkyrie players you want to make sure you put hold on this um just because you don't want to have to double tap a every time you don't want to fly it's just you know valkyrie players you you guys you guys know what i mean hold is definitely the way to go incoming damage you want this on 3d um taking damage closes uh box or crafting menu yes i like this because um if i'm looting and i take damage i want to you know take this off now the other thing is for so shield swaps this could hurt um you know if you're shield swapping this could hurt you but for me personally i don't really you know it doesn't really take me that long to shield swap so i i just have this on on because if i'm looting for too long and somebody hits me i want it to close immediately um hop up pop up i have this on off i don't really you know I, i'm gonna know when i have a hop up on you see it before you pick it up stream mode they have this on off anonymous mode disabled i'm used to trying i just leave this on on uh cross platform you want this on on you don't want to really put this on disabled you want to leave this on on um just because you know you want to play with ps4 people you want to have it on p like you don't want disabled because it's going to take like 10 years to find a game and then it's not like you know you don't want to load in and die and it took you 20 minutes to find a game you know um performance display i have this on off club invites enabled um now my reticule i use a bright green um any of these are fine i wouldn't recommend the blue one i don't know blue just doesn't work out for me uh, but yeah this bright green is kind of uh perfect you can see at any you know you can see this on any part of the map um definitely the way to go for that color line mode i have this on off now if you are going to play play on tritonopia makes it more colorful in my opinion um i just like the colors better on tritonopia but yeah um i have disabled voice chat on people don't don't shut up um yeah and when i solo queue people don't shut up and i don't like it so that's that now for the money maker we have controller tab i play on default um i play claw so you know i can do that if you don't play claw evolved is definitely a fun um thing to use evolved is definitely a fun button layout it's it's definitely effective as well uh, evolved is definitely the way to go you could use ninja ninja's cool but i think evolved is definitely the way to go if you do not have an elite controller or a scuff um stick layout default interact and reload you want this on tap to use and reload crouch button you want this on hold aim button you want this on hold you don't want to toggle aim you want to tap lt to aim and then tap lt to get it to get it off to go back to the hip survival slot button i have this on on um you know it, it just makes it easier if i gotta pull out an evac tower or a heat shield trigger dead zones i have this on none um, basically to explain trigger dead zones uh it's how much pressure you have to put on your triggers for it to aim so if i have this on super high if i have this on max that means i'd have to really pull down on the right trigger for me to shoot the gun and i don't like that or aim so you have this on none that means as soon as you tap it it's basically a hair trigger as soon as you tap or put any pressure on that uh left trigger or right trigger it's going to shoot menu cursor speed i have this on right here you can put this on any that you want i just usually have it on low around right here just more controllable uh look sensitivity uh i usually am running 3-3 linear 3-3 linear is is perfect for me um movement dead zone i have this on small inverted look off vibration off now <clears throat> let's 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 go into the alcs the alcs are you know what makes the money these are my alc settings guys these are my per optics and these are my alc settings now i'm gonna tell you this right now i really feel like i have aimbot when i'm using these settings these settings are just elite um now i will say this go to if you're gonna if you don't like the linear feel go to 10 for response curve 10 response curve is classic zero is linear um zero is linear i'm starting to learn linear linear is actually really good for small micro adjustments Linear is actually love. I, I love linear now. Um, I, I used to be, you guys know I used to advocate classic. Classic was always the way to go, but linear is just perfect. Um, my per optics, the reason I have my per optics higher because when you're zoomed in more, um, you're gonna wanna aim a little bit faster to track. 
So that's why I have my per optics higher uh, by two every time you go up. So that's that. Uh, yeah, my turning extra y'all extra pitch. Uh, my boy District actually gave me these uh, settings, and I'm you know I'm loving them. I'm not gonna lie, I'm loving them. I haven't changed them since. Uh, so yeah, shout out to my boy District. But yeah, I, um, haven't changed these since. I, I've been actually loving them. Go ahead and copy and paste all of these. Uh, if you guys don't like ALCs and you don't like the linear feel, another uh setting another uh yeah settings that you could use are four three classic four three classic is actually really freaking good a lot of pros use this as well so go ahead and throw that on if you don't like that uh linear feel uh but yeah i usually just stay three three linear kind of you know perfect in my opinion and then i just throw my alcs on once i warm up so that's that uh fov now fov is a tricky one fov is basically up to you I, I've started to run on F, on 110 FOV, which is max. I, I love it. I used to run 106. I used to run 100. And then you guys know when I first started, I stayed on 90. But 110, in my opinion, is the best. You can see everything around you while being able to still see your target. So, yeah, go ahead and throw that on. I think you guys are actually going to like 110 FOV. And it, it, it gives you the illusion that it helps with recoil control. It really doesn't. But because you're zoomed out, the gun isn't going to kick up as much. So, you know, that's that. But uh, yeah, I think you guys are really going to enjoy using these settings. Master volume, I have it on 60. Dialogue, 50. Sound effects, I have this on 100. Uh, no music. I don't like the music. Yeah, no, I don't like the music. But yeah. So those are my settings, guys. If you guys do need me to actually go through and break down more settings and teach you how to find your settings through ALCs and stuff like that, I, I have no problem doing so. Just let me know. Um, Again, I hope you guys enjoy this season. Season 18 has a lot to give. I really am excited to tell you the truth. Uh, a lot of content coming. You guys know I hit Masters last season, so I'm going to try to hit it again this season. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. Like, comment, and subscribe. See you guys in the next one. Peace.